Hey guys, this is BuilderDude35, and this week's tutorial is going to be about how to program the EV3 gyro sensor. So right here I have the programming block for the EV3 gyro sensor. Let's look at its operating modes. We have, as with every sensor, measure and compare, and we also have reset. Under measure we have angle, rate, and angle and rate, and under compare we have angle and rate. So first we're going to look at the measure modes. We have angle, which is going to tell you the current angle that the gyro is at, uh, the current angle that it's measuring. Rate, which is how many degrees per second the gyro is currently rotating at. And finally we have angle and rate, which is a combination of the two above modes. I'm not completely sure why would they would have angle and rate separate if they have them both in this one block, possibly to simplify the program. Anyway, in measure modes, as with any sensor, the data value is being exported via a data wire and the current reading of the sensor is what's being output by the block. Next we move on to the compare modes. Again we have both angle and rate. And here what you do, as with other sensor blocks, is you're going to set a condition for the EV3 to compare the current reading of the sensor to. So in our case we can set it to less than or equal to uh, 65 and then this is the output of the block the compare result and this is going to be true or false what it's going to do here is it's going to check the gyro's current angle reading and if it's less than or equal to 65 degrees it's going to output true and if it's not it's going to output false and again we have angle which is going to out output the current angle uh, read by the sensor and again we can do the same exact thing for rate finally we have reset which resets the gyro's current position, whatever that might be, to zero. And this is useful for calibration. Thanks for watching my tutorial this week. If you found it helpful, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this every week. And if you have an idea for a tutorial, be sure to submit it in the comments section below. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.